So um, this is a presentation of, about the wall of fan experimental facility. As you can see, we have the 12 fans to simulate various kind of wind scenarios in your lab. Uh, this is an open jet facility with 12 electric fans in an arc arrangement. We have a large test section of 20 feet by 14 feet. And we can simulate all the way from low wind speeds to a category five wind speeds, about 160 miles per hour. And we can simulate different terrains. We have a turntable of 16 feet diameter, which can be controlled and uh, to test the wind direction, effect of the wind directions. We have some unique capabilities in terms of uh, producing category five hurricane winds. We can do large scale testing, full scale testing as well. And we also can do destructive testing. So you can put actual components or connections or building systems or infrastructure systems and test it up to wind speeds to see what are the different failure modes. So you can understand about the progressive collapse of a structure. We can do wind-driven rain simulations to study water intrusion. And uh, we can test various structures like buildings, bridges, renewable energy systems, and infrastructure systems. Various parts of the wall of wind facility, and when Steve is going to do his virtual tour, you're going to see this in more details. But we have a control center. We have the turntable, which I talked about. And then you have a staging area where you can build specimens before transporting that to the actual wall of wind test section for testing. We have flow management and rain simulation capabilities also for these kind of simulations. This is our team. We have a team of faculty in wind and numerical engineering simulations. And then we have full-time staff. As you can see, uh, you already met with uh, Steve Diaz, our site operations manager. So any test inquiry or scheduling, you can go to Dr. Diaz. We also have uh, other full-time faculty, experts in wind, instrumentation, model building, safety, and training. So you can always get their help to do a successful project. Amal, can you see the video? Uh, yes, yes, it's working fine, yeah. Okay, so let me... Um, so this is something that Amal is going to present, but we have our new downward simulation. So you can see like, this is a small scale system uh, that Amal and her team developed before implementing this to the full scale wall of wind. But you can kind of see out through a smoke, you can see a rolling vortex representing a downward simulation with um, gates that open up as flaps and we are going to have these kind of non-synoptic flow in the wall of wind. So if you are interested in these kind of proposals, um, definitely we can help. Um, I'm not going to talk about this at length, but this is the project that you're going to hear about in extensive details about what we are doing with Lehigh, about the real-time hybrid simulation of a tall building with a mast on top of that, a communication tower. And you're going to hear about more details from other uh, participants here from Lehigh and FIU. So the vision of the Nihiri is, of course, to enable frontier research and education, and actually to study the life cycle performance of civil infrastructure. One Another goal is to validate CFD or other kind of numerical models so that you can reduce the reliance on physical testing. So any numerical or computational modeling that you want to do that can be validated is a very uh, relevant research topic for NSF. Um, you can also come up with the translation of research to application. So your research may lead to innovative mitigation strategies for various kinds of natural hazards. And then we also want to integrate the research education and outreach to train uh, an inclusive STEM workforce. This is very important for all the proposals, especially career uh, proposal for young faculty. <laughs> so this is one of the full scale capability, as you can see, this is an unique capability of the wall of wind where you can test full scale structures like a membrane roof is being tested here. Uh, this is a standing steam metal roof and you can test it to various levels where you can see the connections that are failing 
And um, we can study these kind of performance, life cycle performance, uh, especially during very strong hurricane events. Another topic that Yonis is going to talk about on infrastructure, um, traffic signals. If you can test at full scale using the real connections and components, you can capture very detailed aeroelastic and aerodynamic responses. And subtly, sometimes you can capture the instability, like you are seeing here. Under a certain wind speed, you see large vibration, which causes an instability and a failure of the structure. So this is another special um, capability of the wall of wind, where you can study these kind of failure modes or instabilities of full scale structures, uh, at least subsystems of structures. So if you want to develop a proposal about these kind of instability for fundamental research, we can help. This is a very interesting thing as we are seeing, this is a PIV technique, particle image velocimetry, where you have a bluff body, you have the flow and you're shooting laser as you are monitoring the flow past that structure. So we have a capability of doing these kind of fluid structure interaction studies, really helpful for validating your numerical and computational modeling using PIV techniques. This can be also probably applied to various kinds of simulations, including the real-time hybrid simulation. So this is the new niche in fundamental fluid mechanics that we can help you with and very good tool for transdisciplinary research involving wind, fluid structures, and, and all the other disciplines. Talking about the innovation mitigation devices, you can see um, we can test full scale structures using smoke or PIV technique. On the left hand video, you can see conical vortices that are coming off the corner of a roof, and it's scouring the gravels. And that's how damage happened to roofs uh, where you, know, you can fail the roofing elements under very strong vortices. And then on the right hand picture, we have a wind turbine as a mitigation device set on the perimeter of the roof that breaks those vortices. So you can do these kind of real comparisons of efficacies of mitigation techniques using the wall of wind at large or full scales. And you can also apply for patents and things like that for your techniques. We do a lot of educational activities. So the left hand side picture is about teachers. Uh, this is research experience for teachers where high school teachers come to the wall of wind during summer. They build a small wind tunnel, they perform experiments, and then they also interact with our undergrad and graduate students as you can see, and then they can go back to their schools and develop wind injuring modules or modules on natural hazards. So this has become a very popular program which you can tap into for your proposals if you want to also use these kind of research experience for teachers. We also do REU, uh, which is research experience for undergraduates and K-12 school programs. So you can develop an inclusive STEM workforce. So if you are planning to write um, a strong part of your proposal on the education and outreach, we can help because we know various things that we have do for, we do for the ECO programs, which is education and community outreach. Uh, this slide is about kind of the roadmap, which Steve is going to talk more about tomorrow. But what you see here is a building more, is a model of a transmission line system. Um, so, if you get a project, uh, then we will help you to build these kind of systems either at full scale or reduced scale. Then we are going to help you with the test protocol software implementation, operating the wall of wind for the experiments. And we can record high definition video data acquisition. We can provide you with safety and user training. And we also assist you with NSF proposal uh, development stage. So we can help you develop your proposal. So contact us. And for more information, you can go into the Nihiri uh, Design Safe FIU webpage. And Steve will talk about how we start with the planning, training, test preparation, execution, analysis, and then closing out of the projects. So how can we help you with developing proposals? Again, um, as PIs, we can show you 
how a competitive proposal looks like. And this is a sample slide on kind of one of the linear progression of logic in an NSF proposal. So one thing that's important for you to understand is National Science Foundation stand for scientific development. So science is the middle part of it or the middle ward of NSF. So you have to really emphasize on fundamental science advancement. So the first thing is to kind of identify a gap in the fundamental knowledge or an educational need. And then you can come up with a scientific objective or an educational objective to address that gap. Um, most of these proposals are hypothesis driven proposals. So you can have a central hypothesis of how you're going to test, uh, how you're going to uh, attain your scientific objective or educational objective. And then you will have specific aims or tasks to test parts of that hypothesis because it's just a hypothesis. It could be right or wrong. So you have your specific aims. That's where you're going to use these kind of facilities like the Lehigh or the FIU facilities to test part of your hypothesis to experimentation or numerical simulations. This will lead to the scientific outcomes or educational outcomes which will eventually then attain the objectives that you proposed. And once the objectives are attained, then you basically plug the gap that you identified in the beginning. So you have a complete circle of a linear progression of logic, right? Um, this is applicable to any proposals. And of course, for career proposals, you have to also have the integration of, of research with education. Um, so if you want to discuss more on these kind of approach, how to write a competitive proposals and to learn from us, you're more than welcome to come up with uh, this one-to-one -one meetings with us so we can help you with this kind of proposal development. So we can do that through workshops. As Jim mentioned that it's unfortunate that we are in this pandemic. So we miss these kind of workshops. You can see the photo where, you know, we have huge workshops where people come, they learn at the wall of wind, uh, they see a real demo, um, and then they talk to us one-to-one -to -one, uh, about various ideas and topics. However, right now we cannot do this, uh, but you have the opportunity of registering for research planning workshops. So in our website, Amal, could you please copy that link and put it in the chat box? Um, so what yes. you can do is you can go into this website, you can put your name, title, affiliation, email, and select three dates for your convenience. And then we can schedule a one-to-one -one meeting with you. So this is, I'm talking about other than today and tomorrow, right? Uh, today and tomorrow, you have a separate link you can talk to us, but if you want to talk to us next month or, or after that, you're more than welcome to fill up this registration. And then we are going to select one of the date and put you a, give you a time where you can talk to us on your proposal idea one-to-one. -one, and we can talk about this linear progression of logic. And I can also help you with career proposals and other proposals. And I'm sure Lehigh will do the same. Um, so feel free to register for this research planning workshop if you are planning to submit a, a proposal to NSF. Uh, with that, I'd like to acknowledge the funding from NSF. Um, these are the two funding numbers for the current award, which right now we are at a no cost extension, but also the new award, which are going to carry us through from 2021 to 2025. So I thank NSF and I thank everyone for joining today and hope you will have a wonderful two days of learning from us from both facilities and then develop a successful proposal uh, using our facilities. So best of luck. And with that, I pass this to Lehigh.